with y'all. Tell me about what we're coming up. I've got so much excitement about this. Oh my God, we are so far into bracket, and it feels like every match that we've seen on uh, on stream so far has been an absolute heater. We had has been. Monty and Doramigi just before this, and now we've got the other side of Top 128 starting another pool going through. Yeah, I some see Riddles and Liam coming up. Oh my goodness, dude. That's actually that's going to be an absolute heater of a matchup coming through. Also, a lot of talk about Riddles this weekend, right? Because not only did he win the pre-local, he doubled down. He also won Street Fighter at the pre-local. You know, they talk about the pre-local curse. My said, man said, nah, double negative. It cancels itself out. And even further than that, I believe he got a third in Street Fighter uh, overall at this event, which is just crazy, crazy to see. Well, we've got a very unusual set of characters here. The Terry coming out from Riddles, first of all, not going for the Kazuya today. But also, Liam, of course, not playing the most most typical of characters here. No, a lot of matchup and experience going to be coming into play here. At least you have to assume. But also keep in mind that Riddles used to play Richter, which uh, True. is interesting. I believe it was was he the one that down aired the Pikmin? No, I've heard the Rumor. legends. <laughs> 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 no, that was the actually tales. was shoot time. Yeah. Oh, it was, <laughs> it was. Which is also confusing because you think you'd be the one playing the Pikmin. Yeah, 100%. Early, early game, everybody was trying to make this character work. Most of them have fallen off of it, but Liam seated 71st, making it pretty far already in this saying, I don't care about the meta. I'm going to play what I like, but that go meter. Goodness. So much damage there. A little surprised it didn't even kill. But uh, one of the things that we're going to be seeing a lot here, uh, Richter is one of those characters that will keep you trapped at ledge, and Terry struggles to grab that ledge. So he's going to be hitting uh, by a lot of those uh, the holy waters coming through. Yeah, it's a, a really tricky scenario to be in. The ledge trapping from Richter, such a threat. However, the same thing can be true for Terry because he has that auto turn, right? So he's got a lot of canned setups that are very hard to deal with, which means a lot of this game is going to revolve around getting your opponent into the corner, but also it's going to be playing very heavily around that go meter, right? Absolutely. If you get a lot of use out of that go meter, I'll watch. Let's say uh, you're, you're a bit of a fiend on the field, for sure. Liam, this is going to be a re-grab, but no punish because the Holy Water keeping in a bit, uh, keeping Riddles at bay there. Yeah, Liam's spacing is so good, and you can see right there why it's so important. Oh, okay. Okay. We put fireballs off stage. All right, I see you, Riddles. This is uh, very interesting to see. Liam has a considerable lead here, but the dash attack, that's going to take it. But that's where that go meter comes in, right? As long as Riddles can live to 100% here, he doesn't care too much about that deficit. He just wants to play this game one stock at a time as opposed to percentages at a time instead and shut down Liam that way. And truly, Terry is one of those characters where you can see stocks deleted in record time. Oh. We might see it right here. Just barely surviving that, but again, going off again? with these projectiles, that's crazy. Very interesting to see those happening off stage. Now, Liam's got an opportunity, manages to get the high recovery. Is he going to go low? Yes, he is. Rolling past the holy water, but again, those canned setups. You roll past, you get F-tilted, it's rinse repeat. Well, barely not catching the ledge. And no go meter. Oh my goodness, no usage. This as soon as good. he got it, it was gone. Oh, huge damage there, no, no combo, but we're just gonna... Getting that up, be out of shield. Getting a little bit of a uh, damage through. I've noticed a lot of Liam using high holy waters. Oh, unfortunately, did not have the resources there to shut down. But he likes throwing holy water at the platform, so Riddles can't jump over things like the Holy Cross. All right, Riddles threw out that last stock, has even things up just slightly. He had a seventy percent lead going into the last one. Now just fifty. We're gonna have to see now is Riddles down. gonna be able to make this comeback. There we go again. Holy oh Water's on goodness. the platform. Liam, yeah, he's got that DP option. Just up B out of trouble. Speaking of up Bs, Riddle's got those combos on as well. 96%. Liam has to be so careful about how he approaches this. Go meter is online. Yeah, and there's that dangerous question. Do I hit Terry right here? Do I give him go as an option? Because we see Riddle's already looking for that F tilt. Oh, oh Buster Wolf. Oh no, he fell out that up smash. Really, really skinny, especially at the base. We're landing on the platform. No auto cancel there. The up B isn't going to take it. That is a very fake kill screen. Yeah, I was surprised that kill screen even happened. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no way, my guy. Now, Max Rage as well. If Riddles gets a hit, he could kill here, but Liam, again, close. the DI is impeccable from Riddles. Oh no, that's a dangerous situation to Oof. be in. It really right, could be any hit from Riddles that could take the stock off of Liam, and Liam just has to close this one oh. out. 
I can't believe he got past. I thought Liam was just going to up B again, but instead, 198, he is still alive. Liam struggling to kill without a ledge trap, but finally, the DI a little bit not so good from Riddles, and that is all it's going to take. Not quite ready to answer for that F tilt 200%, and we're still a little surprised he died to that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that was just bad DI. <laughs> that, you know, that truly was. He was holding towards the direction he wanted to go. Uh, and unfortunately, that direction seems to be game two. On his own counter pick now, where are we going to be going? We have the question with Riddles, right? We know he has oh. a Terry, but we also know he has a Kazia. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, indeed. yes, he does. Yes, indeed. That's the game one, right? You try out the Terry, and if it doesn't work, I'll just go Kazuya. They'll be fine. I, I figured this out. I figured oh, you no! out. I figured that you're not making that back 10 oh, seconds no. into the game. Lentini, he's gone. That's one of the big problems with Richter. He has a terrible, terrible recovery. And so if Riddles can get those nares, there's nothing he can do. Because if he air dodges out, then he also falls to his death. He doesn't have enough distance. That's just it. And we saw lots of attempts from Riddles in game one with Terry going off at the projectile, trying to get Liam in a disadvantageous position off stage. But it seems like the Kazi is what's going to be doing the trick here. Ooh, nice Holy Cross going high, forcing Riddles to go high as well. <laughs> but those up airs, it's so skinny. We don't have to worry about go meter anymore, but we do have one other comeback-like mechanic. Yes, we do. Riddles just loves his comeback mechanics. Unfortunately for him <laughs> in this case, it is able to be knocked out of him, and Liam is very good at that poke game, and now you're stuck on the ledge again as Kazuya. Yeah, this is the rinse and repeat, and we're not making it back. Only 34%. Keep in mind, that was like a zero to death to start off. Yeah, this is that game, Huge right? Kazuya, he gets in once and he blows up Richter, but he has to get in against a zoner, which is not his... Again, those up airs. This time he is able to cover it with the up tilt, but 112 on Riddles. He's running out of time on this stock. Can you use that rage drive to make something happen, or is it going to get stuffed out again? Mantini, this is this is the Liam show. I've seen almost oh. nothing from Riddles, but hold on as I speak. There's a chance. Yeah, there is a big chance there. No follow-up, and yeah, we're just throwing out that rage oh. drive. We're, we're trying to figure out what I can get and with it's it. gone. Yep. That's like all that. it takes. We do get a back air, though. Riddle's getting a little aggressive, and it ends up working out. When he gets back to the stage, Liam is caught on the ledge trap on the normal getup, giving Riddle's a very fragile lead. But here, if Liam can just space this out and get that tipper, that's the stock. Absolutely. One of the things that we're worried like, you can talk about a, a lead, but it is Kazuya Mishima. You can see these stocks evaporate oh. no oh. time at all. 37%, that's where it starts. The tipper, the tipper really actually not, not enough. enough. And, and stalling over the cross. cross. Also, the holy water not getting to the ledge. That's so unfortunate. And you can see these ledge traps from Liam. Just the there. precision has to be perfect. Finally, he gets it, and he takes the stock. And only 37%. This is pretty much even to what we were seeing last stock. But and Riddles was able to just deal out so much damage so quickly, not having the same struggle uh, The, uh, <laughs> difficulty killing, we'll say. Yeah, meanwhile, Liam, Liam has to nickel and dime. Uh, I don't know if y'all on stream are having some issues as well. It looks like you are based on the chat. We can still see the player monitor, so we'll talk y'all through it. There's a lot of neutral going on. Trying to land is Riddles right now, as he is just boxing as hard as he can with Liam. Yeah, but we've got Rager online, 105%. The percents are about even. Ooh, but Riddles, Riddles off stage. Off to the left side. There this we go, crazy. we're back. Oh, and the Rage Art is gone, Lentini. That's huge. But again, oh it's Kazuya Mishima. He needs his one hit. If he oh. can get that electric, barely, barely does it make it back. Listen, a lot of people online, I'm sure, are going to be fans of Riddles. The people in-house, they've got a favorite. Yeah, I, I don't know if y'all can hear it on the stream, but we've got a whole lot of people cheering for the upset right now. They want to see, was it 71st seed, was it? Yeah, 71st. Over a top 10-ish, top 20 seed. Riddles of, expected to go very far in this game. Very far. A lot of people, especially, let's say it, when they saw the rule set, thought that Riddles was going to thrive. But Liam might be putting those rumors to rest. 
really, really early coming and out here. And we're back on the carry. Liam still took it. Really, it was just one solid read with that down air by ledge, and that's really all it took. And sometimes that's just the Terry difference. That's another read, and you are oh, barely, barely gonna catch it with that forward air. Ooh, up B again. That has been such a good boon for Liam. I haven't seen Riddles doing anything oh, really to stop goodness. that, but we got custom holy water combos. Okay. I see you, Riddles. I see you. I love the recognition there. Seeing the uh, the opportunity, holding the holy water and being like, wait a second, that was a laggy move you just threw out. Those up Your airs. stock is mine. I feel like Liam just got to give up on up air, man. It is not, it's not working. It's not working. That move's so working. skinny. <laughs> That's the bean pole right there. Oh, man. And Riddles, look, you get hit by that nair right up, coming off ledge, you are dead often. It is uh, a recipe for disaster. Instant side beat. I just want to see the up air hit once. <laughs> Just please, Liam, just hit one up there. I beg you. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, we forgot about Go Meter in there. Man, we never really saw much of it in game number one. Riddles being like, hold on, this character has a whole lot more that you haven't even seen yet. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that comes down to the fact that Liam was so good at shutting it down, right? Every time he got it, <laughs> he would just instantly die. Power guys are putting it up to 112. One more chance to get off the ledge. Ooh, nice aggression with the fair. Power guys are quite the strong anti-air, I'd say. The number of times Liam has caught Riddles rolling in with that F-tilt. It is it is surprising because I feel like Liam, for the most part, is he's holding his finger over the stick. He's ready to throw that F-tilt no matter what, and it just catches. It works. Uh, what didn't work... Look at that crowd in the back. Yeah, we've got the audience My for this goodness. game. People are here for their hometown boy, Liam. That's one thing that's beautiful about these kinds of events. Everybody's in the back playing friendlies. They see something like this, like, oh, hold up. We got a root for my boy right here. Uh, nothing feels better than playing friendlies with someone and like coming to that mutual agreement of like, we're pausing this to watch the stream yeah. set, right? Like, and for those of you who wish you could watch more matches at the same time, reminder, we do have the quad stream on BG Bootcamp 2. And of course, Galint Gaming's got the Melee stuff going on all day. We've got the fighting game stream over on Tampa Never. All Gaming sorts of stuff watch. for you guys to check out today. So much. All right, we are on Smashville for game number four here. This is Liam's counter pick, and uh, as you're familiar with it, this is not a stage that Terry uh, doesn't like. Uh, yeah. Terry fairly comfortable on a small stage like this. I feel like the biggest thing on this stage isn't so much whether or not Riddles likes it. It's the fact that uh, the uh, Volgards hate this. Oh my goodness. The uh, it's so small. Very difficult to space away from Terry. Yes. So Liam's not going to want to go to a stage like this typically. I, but I, again, full DSR, right? Full DSR. I do. Oh, finally, we saw it up there. It happened. He landed one. That's Another huge. upbeat. Hey! Oh! We got Dude, two. The crowd. Come on, a third one for the fans. The crowd is popping off for every single hit that Liam lands here right now. <laughs> I know, 152, any one of those hits could be death if he gets the tipper. Oh, it, oh speaking of death, ouch. That really hurts your confidence in this game number four. I imagine that Liam wanted to go to Smashville to camp underneath that platform, right? It makes it very difficult for uh, Riddles to land on him, but the, the opposite is... Does not get the Nair spike. You saw him looking for it. Reset's not going to be enough. And this lead is just growing and growing for Riddles right oh, now. Oh, and no. Speaking of which, we might be on our way to a game five here, everybody. Up B again, keeping it safe. And again, 
trying to go back, get comfortable underneath this platform, set up a bit of a tent. The spacing Riddles, yeah. here, just dealing with that cross with the fireballs, so strong for Riddles in this matchup. The fact that he doesn't have to approach unsafely, jumping high, jumping low, he can just say, nah, it's my turn. We're landing with Nair. Hi, is that true? That's crazy. Almost finds the up smash read, but we've got go meter online here. Things are about to get Ooh. a little bit more prickly. You gotta be so careful. Again, like you said, that go meter is online. Trying to space with the cross, but Riddle's so good at dealing with it. So as I say that, hold up. Holy water base is too low. Oh, even with the oh. parry, are you kidding me right now? That's all it takes. One little mistake, and we go to game okay. five. Riddle looking unfazed right now. Yeah, for those that don't know, that <laughs> that move does auto cancel, and so sometimes you think you can punish it, and you just can't. He hit the parry, and he still could not get the up B off in time. I also so love that brutal. that Terry cosplay in the <laughs> front left there. Love to see. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know who he's rooting for. Yeah. Obviously. The crowd is pretty split on this because you've got like the hometown hero. You want to see Liam do well. And you've got Riddles, the top player that everybody knows. And generally, these guys tend to have followings. I mean, a lot of people really love seeing the FGC character specialist do well. So it's exciting to have that dichotomy in the crowd. Riddles is one of my favorite people to have deep in brackets. So, so entertaining to watch. But listen, full disclosure, I'm PNW through and through, so. Oh, we ran it we back. Got, we are back on Smash. Though. I don't. I mean, like, you gentlemen, whatever you want, but I don't think you're technically allowed to do this. Oh. Because yeah. full DSR, right? So that has to be a gentleman's for them to go back to the stage. So Liam must be feeling pretty, pretty darn comfortable. Oh, uh, no, not the up smash. Oh, hold on, up Oh, oh it was enough. a bait. It was all a bait. He knew the up smash was going to whiff. Oh, and the Terry Gambit. 130. Oh, no. He's, he's back. He made it? Yeah, those magnet hands or magnet feet in this case go crazy. <laughs> it's so hard to edge guard that if you do it right because the legs are invincible. Oh, Ooh. what a catch! He threw out the B reverse with that uh, that axe just to catch that one exact position. Liam is coming back in this set because the thing is, in order for Riddles to keep up, he has to get those more scammy early kills, those nair spikes, those go meter conversions. If he can't do that, Liam is going to space him out oh. over and over and over. Finally, Riddles evening up the stock. Yeah, huge, huge call out with that up smash. Knew he was gonna roll in and we've got an even game going on here, but wow, 17% out of the oh, up no. I see why he's often course so often. Let's do it again. And Uppy's under that How platform as well. One more for the... Oh! No. The fans wanted it. I almost wonder if that was a snapback moment. I don't know if he meant to be reverse that, because if he hadn't, it would have hit. Very possible. Controller issues continuing to be the band of players hey, here. Oh, across. Sometimes that comes back and bites you. Oh, good cross up on the shield there. I feel like everything kind of gets decided by when Riddles gets that go meter and how long he holds on to it. It's coming online now. It is dead even right now in percent. But like you said, go meter changes the entire pace of this game. Liam has to play so safe. Oh We're not going to see those uppies. And that's why Riddles trying to punch his way into winner's side. He does not want to let go of this opportunity. Could be huge. The oh, no, no follow up there. And we're throwing the, the holy water in the wrong direction. Only 10%, but it's starting to rack up. 10% comes 50 so there quickly. There it is. What a We're stack. back in this. We're angling that back air, and the crowd is coming alive. One more stock chance are coming through. We've got something to prove here. The whole crowd wants to see Liam take this. The upset, seed 71 versus seed number seven. And somehow, Liam is the one with stage control. He is the one forcing Riddles to come to him oh, right now. No He's jump, on stage. No, oh, no, what are you doing? Way. Oh my goodness, no follow up off that down there. Oh, wait, got one more. wait, this might be it. This is the opportunity he needs. Oh, he can stay on winner's side. The no, the air dodge, he, he misses. What is happening? It is not Holy over. Ledge. No follow up, just the F tilt. 154 on Riddles. Can he find a way in? He's got max rage. He needs one hit on that go meter. But Liam not giving it to him. Another fair off the ledge. He's not ready for it. F kill. Just barely not finishing him off here. 170% the holy water coming through. Ooh, the timing slightly oh, off the of the No, it's fake. It's a fake kill screen. Unbelievable. What aggression from Liam as well. No, Going for that axe high. But Riddles, he finds it. 
unbelievable. At 9 the whole crowd popping off right now. Somehow, after an incredible game five set, the chair is on the ground right now. Riddles makes it through. I cannot believe that, man. Riddles popped off like he just won oh. Evo. Liam threw his chair back out of disbelief. How do you not close that out? Oh my the F-Till was just units, units away from taking the game. Not only that, there was another F-Tilt that was just a frame or two, a frame or two away from upsetting the seventh seed in the entire tournament in top 128. Liam, what, what an incredible performance. That was, inc I, I'm speechless. That was the first set. That was wow. the first one we got. That was absolutely incredible. I cannot believe how close that was. And like oh. you said, that was just the first set. My Man. God. <laughs> Anybody need a water break after that one? <laughs> Bro, I need that hydration bot in chat. Where'd my water? Oh, I think I kicked my water under the stage. <laughs> okay, okay, we got it. There we was got no it. cam on us, thank God. We're jumping out of our seats over here on our feet, animated. And Liam is going to be thinking about that for such a long time. That is, that is rough. The BC yeah. crowd was so, so, so loud for that. The pre-local curse hasn't struck yet. No, it may be on its way though. That was a little bit. That was a little. That was a little scary. It was right? just the way Liam was able to space him out over and over and over. That, that go meter, half the time, it wasn't even a factor. No, that's true. And. <laughs> The times it was a factor made the difference. Like that was the reason that Riddles was able to bring it all back there. Every, uh, I think, what, am I crazy or was every kill in that final game a go kill? I I saw a whole lot. There was definitely a lot. A whole lot. I, there might have been an uppy in there, but it's so much way. of it. It comes down to can you survive a ledge trap from Terry above 100%? Because when you're at that magic percent, you're going to be far enough away where he's able to, or excuse me, not from Terry, from. Uh, from Richter, rather, yeah. at, at past 100%. When you're at that high of a percent, Richter's going to send you far enough off stage that he has time to set up those bread and butter, those set play ledge traps that you expect to see. You know, the holy water right at the side, the cross as well, because it covers the initial neutral getup, and then it comes back later for delay timing. And then, of course, that roll catch F tilt. So many things to deal with. Yeah, we're about to see yeah. all this stuff right here. All there you go. Yep. <laughs> and if you roll in, you also get hit by that, and it resets. So hard to deal with. Wow, that was a reverse 3-0, too. That's just now occurring to me. Akaze getting put away after bonk, this bonk. very, <laughs> yeah, very, very quick kill in the game number two there. I'm, actually, I'm shocked that we don't lost that game, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I mean, that up. whole set, it was like, oh, this player's got it. This player's got it. It's the momentum swings so back and forth. Chat, I hope y'all enjoyed that first set of the block. I know we had some audio issues, we had some video issues, but we got there by the end. We got there for the good bit, and that's what really matters. So in a second, I assume we're going to have some more coming up. I think they're just trying to find some people. But yeah, for those of you just joining us, those of you who might have missed what just happened, we just had an incredible first set of Top 28 here at Battle of BC6. Yeah, we saw Liam trying so, so close, honestly, Look to getting that. riddles on that Bracket Buddy upset list. But yeah, Bracket Buddy. Nope, Let's talk no about way. that a little bit. I love that we've got these new apps that are coming out. There's a few different things in the, the space, but this one's specifically designed for the players, right? You want to see what are my pools, who am I playing against, when am I playing. You can download Bracket Buddy in the, uh, the App Store, iOS or Android. It should be available. And on top of that, you got those upset factors, right? Yeah. You can actually look up in real time. You don't have to go to that Twitter account anymore that yeah. tracks them. We don't have to go find the upset thread. No, we can open up the app and damn, those, those are the upsets. Look, I love the upset thread, but like my fingers get tired scrolling all that. Like, Dude, and listen. You can just Twitter, like sort by upset factors, see what's going on. Twitter is such a, a mess to try to navigate sometimes. You click on an upset thread tweet and you have to scroll all the way to the bottom just to see the comments for that tweet. Yeah. It, and then with my monkey brain, I see one other thing. I'm like, oh, what's going on over here? And I realize like 20 minutes later, yeah, wait, exactly. what was I doing? Uh, all right, I have a pools match. I guess I'll check this later. 